45 minutes, I'm going to be talking about the Domino replication security. So people might ask uh, who Jen is. I'm nobody in UIC, and I've been in US for two years and a half. Before that, I was working in Canada as a security professional. And I started my career six years ago, and I've been was well, a penetration tester for five years, and currently I'm working as a security architect in a consulting company. So I speak in four languages. I speak in um, English, French, and Cantonese, and Mandarin. However, all these four languages are broken because they all mix together. So if you don't understand why I'm talking, you're not alone, no worry. I try to speak slower in Korean. The last and but not the least, and a girl, not a guy. The reason I say in that is uh, when I started my career and I met quite a few uh, security professionals online. We exchanged the email talking about the technology and discuss the latest vulnerability. Obviously, they are all guys. So one day I went to a conference. I met uh, one of my friends, a co worker, he said, Okay, and say hello to my friend ABC. Then he went back, he said, hi ABC, and Q Asian girl say hello to you. And then my friend said, I didn't know any girl called Jen. I knew a guy called Jen. <laughs> <laughs> and later on, he said, wait a second. He never tell me he's a guy. <laughs> so basically he shoot me an email, said Jen, are you a girl or guy? I said, I'm a girl. <laughs> So the same story happened all the time. Well, that's funny, but I'm a girl, real one. <laughs> so why am I here? I'm here talking about a domino replication. Three years ago, when I was a penetration tester, my boss came to me and said, hi, Jen. Uh, do you know notes? I said, yes. I know how to use Node to send and receive an email. He said, now we have a project. We need to do the source code review on 30 Node databases. Can you do that in three weeks? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I said, mm, OK, we'll do that. Anyway, it's, a, it's something new to me. I like the new thing. I said I knew that, but three weeks. I'm not really sure, but I, I, I did my best. I will do my best. So OK, here's the three books you can read from. Huh. Notes Designer, Handbook. Uh, Notes Administrator Guide, Notes Squid, Handbook. You can read through them. You did a source code review. Good. <laughs> so basically, in that three weeks, it's a, it was a really fulfilled three weeks. Because I did read through this three book and did a source code review on 20 Notes databases. And at that time, I didn't find a lot of good document about how to audit the notes application, how to do the pen test notes application. But I found, I think, 20 vulnerability on that application itself. So, and later on, um, quite a few notes application come to my plane, and I think it might be good that I share my knowledge with you guys in the OWASP, because I still, see, I still don't see a lot of features a lot of document outside there talking about notes security and how to do the pen test on notes. So my agenda is very straightforward. I will be talking about a little bit about the notes domino application architecture and security feature. And I will be talking about a common mistake made by the developer, notes developer, and my testing methodology on notes. Okay. Before I start, I always love share this uh, my favorite little saying. It's a from the sense of the art of war. If you knew, know well your enemy as well as yourself, you will never fail. I wish the investment banker in Wall Street knew that one years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so my stock will not sink. <laughs> okay, let's start the notes. So notes, uh, the first release notes uh, was in mid 80s. It original use for uh, online discussion, email client, uh, phone number management, and content management. And currently, the latest release is A. It's still used as a notes client, still use the uh, instant message client. <coughs> but 
it develops so many features, that, so it's very strong on workflow, and workflow, and as well as uh, replication. It's a note and domino. It's a client server structure, and normally we say note as we note it's client domino it's a server, and it supports multiple internet protocol within one server. And again, it's strong workflow and collaborative applications. People might say, "Well, it's a 20 years old technology. Why I care? It's really outdated. It's true. It's a not the mainstream one, but." As long as your company use the nodes as your email client, because you have quite a few applications built on that platform, especially for internet. So I did a little bit more search, not necessarily accurate, but it's from Google. The top three uh, customer for nodes is a government, university, and very large organization. Who has the money to get the IBM product in mid 80 so, and I also, the Google search uh, tell me that there's a 60 million node databases and interfaces. When I talk to the node developers, they like nodes. I say, why? And they give me these three, four reasons. First, it's a fairly easy to develop and deploy a simple application on nodes. You only put a one node database on the server, you are done. <laughs> you don't need other databases, etc. And Nodes itself provide very granularly and very good access control on the object and on the application itself, if you use it appropriate. appropriate. And also Nodes itself have a very good login master. And again, uh, Nodes is an email client, so the replication can integrate very well with the email and the workflow. So when we're talking about domino application, we need to understand the node databases. Every domino application contain at least one node database and can be more than one. And when you see the extension called NSF, which is the acronym of the node storage facility, it means node databases. NTF is temporary itself. So node databases it's not a relational database. That's I always try to emphasize because at first when I get into nodes, I always confuse with the relational database and node database. It's a no at all a relational database. It's a container. It's a container. You can put the data inside it. It can put the it, it contain the data itself. It contain the business log business logic itself, and also contain the design element, what we call phone view page. So the right side, the right side is the example of the nodes databases, logs.ns, so you can see it contain everything. So I made this a really simple, a little bit ugly tables to help understand the nodes database and relational databases. So the two main difference is a node is document center and by relational data, you have table row, and also note it's an all-in-one container, <coughs> and relational database is only container data only. 